All right, so today we are here in Marshville, North Carolina with the Saki Bomb Foundation. We got about 100 to 150 eighth grade kids. We're gonna show them disc golf, uh, set up the basket that we're donating to them, give them uh, two boxes of discs. It's a big class, so we're gonna send two boxes instead of one like we normally do to all our schools. And this is the third school of the year here in North Carolina. I'm excited to interact with these kids and show them disc golf. Yeah, yeah, but that's sweet. awesome. So we're going to just bring them all up here and we'll sit them around. Okay. Um, but it's basically the entire evening. Okay, cool. So. And then I'll just kind of be talking to them about disc golf kind of thing and yeah, cause and showing them, showcase, showing how to throw, all that kind of stuff. Okay. So, okay, good. I, know, I was just I wondering what. I challenge them. I'm like, if any one of you can throw farther than I can, I'll buy you lunch. Nice. I don't know that I play. Oh, yeah. And they're like, <laughs> and they're like oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and they're like, yeah, I got you. Yeah. I let them go first. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Nah, how am I going to beat that? Yeah. Gotta break in their baskets, you know? <laughs> Ceremonial first putt. Well, there's 100 people. We're not gonna be able to get them all to throw. I don't know how we're. Well, we got 100 discs, I guess. This thing kind of a way to. All right, guys, well, first of all, I'll introduce myself. I'm Ricky Waisaki. I'm a two-time disc golf world champion, and I'm uh, just here to share some time with you, and my foundation's gonna drop off 100 discs in a basket for you guys to, to use and play with throughout the year, and I just wanted to show you guys how, uh, how to throw, and uh, who's all played disc golf here before? Has anyone played? Raise your hand. No? Couple people? All right, cool. So a couple people, but for those that haven't, which is majority of you guys, I'm gonna, throw, I'm gonna show you how to throw, how to putt, and all the basics of, of how to how to play disc golf, and then we're, and then we'll leave you with the with the discs in the basket. Yeah. Oops, oh, sorry. Go. Oh. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> no. All right, we gotta we gotta scoot in. Heads up. Try to spin it with your wrist at the very end. So I'll throw a couple, and then you guys can see what I'm talking about. I'll, do you guys want me to go in the soccer goal? I'll try to go in the soccer goal. All right. Oh, not that one. Oh. Oh. I'll try this one. <laughs> there we go, that's it. Yeah! <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Nice. Don't try this. Oh god. Then put your disc or your finger in the middle like that, and then spin it, and you gotta balance it like that. Like you're spinning the basketball. Yeah. There you go. Try it. No way. I'll, I'll help you. So do in that. So like in the middle, yeah. And then you're gonna do this, and then so use the other hand to so spin it. Spin it. Okay. Yep. And you, if you practice, it'll it'll go catch it. So yeah. I can't even do, do this. Well, he makes. Uh, you got it. Yeah. Oh no! Nice. What up? That's what's up. Oh, he drained it. Uh, my name is Andrea Eaton, and we are at East Union Middle School. I'm a PE teacher here. Um, currently, we have our eighth grade students out here working with Ricky. Um, this school is a high need school and it doesn't have a lot of resources and things like that. So for Ricky to come out to this school specifically and give us the frisbees and the basket and introduce these kids to disc golf is huge. It just gives them another outlet, um, things that they can do instead of going out and maybe getting in trouble. Now maybe they'll get into disc golf and throw frisbees. So we have a club here, so thank you very much. Happy to have it. Oh, you can do that? I'll show you. Please. Oh, you can move it. Oh, are you? You gotta make one, make one. Yeah. Oh, you gotta make one. You gotta make it before you move the basket. You gotta make it. Come on. All right. Yeah. All right, bud. Good hey, to see you, man. Appreciate you, bro. Yeah. Appreciate you, bro. Yep. Yeah, one, two, three. Hey, <laughs> what do you Dude. Dude, good shooting, man. You were killing it out there. I got some cards for y'all. Wait, line, wait, line. Wait, line, 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 line. Who can I get one? 
Thank you. Are you yeah. gonna sign one yeah, of those? Yeah, for sure. For my son? Yeah. And a, a card? Yeah, you, I get signed a couple for him, yeah. Signed? Mm-hmm. He's gonna love you it. You get one for Keegan? I was awesome. supposed to bring him out here to soccer today, but he said he was kind of scared of something bigger than he is. They're not doing much <laughs> well, trust me, my kids like that tall for yeah, Cool. Thank you guys for all your help. Thank you. Yeah, man. thanks for your help. Yeah, Good to meet you. Yeah. yeah, it was a great day. First started off crazy. You know, we obviously, you know, sometimes it's like herding cats getting all those kids <laughs> together to, to do something, but it was overall great. We got, uh, eventually we got it figured out, got the system down, and we got some ring of fire action going. Try to get them thrown into soccer goals, just uh, exposing the kids. And there was a lot of kids that participated and had a blast, handed out some cards at the end and some bracelets. Uh, it was a great day uh, for disc golf and just uh, showing it to these kids. Maybe more importantly, that's going to be a wide open pot. You have none of the trees to deal with. Waisaki looking to bounce back. I love this line. Skipping up. That's going to be right next to Gannon Burr. Great bounce back for Ricky Waisaki. Thought he was not surprised at all to see him chip that one up. And Waisaki throws <laughs> it up. Launches it up. What a putt for Ricky Wysock. Just about a step inside, or maybe just a step outside. We'll find out in a moment. Oh, this looks great, too. No camera trickery there. Feet. Elevated <laughs> basket. <laughs> All right. Wow. I will see you guys in a couple. <laughs> I'll be back. I'm going to mute my mic. I'll Please be back. Please don't leave. Bogey gets Gannon Burr into the finals. Yeah, he would then fall to five under. However, he would then be tied with Klein, who has the better seat than Kyle. Looking forward to Championship Sunday tomorrow. Please help me welcome, representing Dynamic Discs, Mr. Ricky Wysocki. His birdie count, he's two under through two. Waisaki is in, he'll move to one under. Front tied up with Isaac Robinson, each at two under. Waisaki threading the needle, or a few of them. He's gonna have a birdie look. There's really yeah, no the big way to make up changes. strokes. This morning, like Most a likely, a lot of the really tough decisions on whether to be aggressive is going to come around the putting green. A lot of slope here in the woods. One of the underrated things about Nevin is all of the slope around these baskets. And if you're on the short side putting downhill, there will be some decisions and eventually Macbeth will be forced to go for it, but we're way too early for that. Keep a little fortunate there. A little early on the fade, but he cuts through everything. Finds a great landing zone. So close to each other. <laughs> I mean, Rick and Paul aren't that close to each other. Let's put it that way. Well, those two guys are great friends. They're almost touring partners. And there it is. Out of position. Fantastic forehand second. And the big putt to seal it. Great birdie from Ricky Wysocki hitting one of the upright trees on the right side. That's not gonna be an easy up and down. It's still just 200 feet, but he's got 180 to go with a drop off behind the basket. This looks great from Waisaki. It just needs to slow down. And... Does oh, it? No way. Ricky thinks he's parked. 
And Ricky. with good reason. Exactly. He's still come up short of where Kristen and, and others are today. The sport continues to grow and make some partners like Barbasol. Ricky Wysocki. Back on track. Yeah, and if you're Ricky, then, then you just can't let it go right here. You gotta overplay it left. Oh, oh. I think he's done it. Woo! Wow. Oh, look at that. This man knows how to win. This man knows how to close. The 13th hole in the quarter finals. Push! Push! This looks special potentially. It's Does it have to go? Oh, yeah. Best tee shot we have seen for Ricky Wysocki. Now it's Ricky's turn. He's going to go to the power sidearm. Does he have the distance? Oh, my goodness. Craziness. That's crushed. This looks great. This looks great. Ricky Wysocki inside the circle on 18. Unbelievable shot from Ricky Wysocki. Jeremy Poling was about where Isaac Robinson is and left it 50 feet short. Either way, it's one putt left for Ricky Wysock. For $35,000 on the Disc Golf Pro Tour Championship. <laughs> Congratulations, Ricky Wysocki, your Pro Tour champion. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to present 2022 Disc Golf Pro Tour Championship presented by Barbasol champion and winner of a tying, record-breaking $35,000 your 2022 Tour Champion, Ricky Wysocki! Well, Ricky, I'm sure just like everybody surrounding you right now, you're letting on a sigh of relief and you're probably still feeling some emotion. What are you going through right now? Yeah, lots of adrenaline. Um, you know, going coming into the week, I had a, I had a feeling eight, it was going to come down to 18. And for the most part, it was, everyone was just getting pars. And I was down one, and I had to get real aggressive off the tee, and I just missed the mando tree and got into a great spot. And uh, I was able to capitalize and, you know, lean on my forehand, which is my go-to. And I felt really comfortable with that shot and threw it almost inside the circle twice there at the end. Well, Ricky, the season has winded down. What an amazing year of disc golf it's been. How are you going to celebrate this victory? Yeah, this is going to be great. My family's here. This is kind of another hometown tournament, Winthrop. And then this week is, uh, is kind of like a home, home, home field advantage. I feel like my, my uh, brother and sisters are in the crowd. And so I'm going to go hang out with them, have a steak dinner. And then I'm actually heading to the Skins match uh, next week. So, um, yeah, it's a great way to cap off a, a great season. What a phenomenal battle, Ricky. Thank you so much for giving us a show all season long. Congratulations and uh, enjoy yourself this week. Thanks, buddy. Raptor Lakes for the win. Thanks for the support, y'all. Let's go. Love you, <laughs>